Hey everyone, it's Susie from WordStream by Local IQ here, and I'm going to talk you through advertising on the Meta platform. So before we start the walkthrough, let's just quickly review everything you're going to need to know in order to run ads on the Meta platform. So you're going to need a Facebook ads account and a Facebook business page, which all live under your Meta business suite. And that's where you can access your page, um, market your page, as well as advertise your page. So here is an example of Facebook ad. This is what they would look like on a user's feed. And I'm going to teach you how to make just that today. So to access the Meta Business Suite, you're going to navigate over to business.facebook.com and log in or follow the prompts to create account accordingly. Now we do have tons of resources on the WordStream by Local IQ blog where you can find how to create a Meta Business Suite profile, your Facebook business page, as well as your Facebook ads account. So depending on how you log in, there are a few different ways you can access the ads manager and your Facebook business pages. So if I'm logged into a personal account here, I would scroll over to this left-hand menu and I could click into ads manager here or click into pages. If I were to click into pages here, it would be bringing me to all of the pages I'd be able to manage. And from here, I could click into Meta Business Suite to access the ads manager. If I'm in Meta Business Manager directly, I can click into the Ads Manager from this left-hand menu or even click into this drop-down here to access specific areas within the Facebook Ads Manager. Once I'm in my Facebook Ads Manager, on the Campaigns tab here, I would click the green Create button to create my first campaign. When you click create new campaign, you're brought to this window, which gives you this first option that you're going to see here of buying type. Now this will let you know what type of buying process you're going to go through with your Facebook ads campaign. And it defaults to auction, which is the most common option for most advertisers on Facebook ads. For reservation, this is a different type of campaign buying option, usually used by larger brands looking to reach larger audiences, roughly over 200,000 members um, to cap the frequency at which they show their ads. From here, you would choose your Facebook ads campaign objective. We have a ton of information on the pros and cons of every objective within the Facebook ads platform on the WordStream by Local IQ blog. But if you have any questions on any of these options here, you can scroll over and you'll get a quick explanation on each. Usually the most common types of Facebook ads campaign objectives that we see advertisers using are the traffic objective, the leads objective, and sometimes also the awareness objective. Today, I'm going to do a traffic objective campaign. So now it's going to stop you for a second so that you can decide how you want to set up your Facebook ads campaign. Typically, advertisers will opt to do the manual setup, which allows you a little bit more control over all of the settings. But for advertisers that aren't really sure what to do or want to use machine learning to guide their campaign in the right direction, they can stick with this opt-in for recommended settings, which uses the Advantage Plus suite options and solutions from Meta um, to help guide your campaign. It's similar to a smart campaign in Google Ads for any advertisers familiar with automated campaigns on other platforms. So I'm gonna opt for manual and I'll hit continue here. And now this is where I can select some overarching campaign settings so I can name my campaign. And there is no right or wrong answer here. You kind of just want to put in something that's going to make the most sense for you and your business and your team to be able to navigate throughout your account. Um, if I'm in a special ad category or within a vertical that is something like products and services for financial services, employment, housing, social issues, political verticals, things like that, 
these can fall under special ag categories, which also have additional restrictions and policies applied to them. So this is where I would do that. You can also still have a chance to edit your buying type and campaign objective. Now it's always a good idea to click into the show more options settings too. This is where you could add a campaign spending limit and depending on your campaign objective, this may or may not be an option, but that can help you cap your budget. You're going to see the option even when you opt into manual setup to opt into Advantage Plus um, capabilities throughout the advertising process. And again, this is just using Meta's AI and machine learning to optimize your campaign for you automatically. Um, so you could have Advantage Plus um, optimize your budget and control your spend a little bit more. And you could also set up an A-B test at the campaign level. So I'm going to hit next because I'm good with these campaign settings. And now we're at the ad set portion of the campaign setup. So this is where I would, again, name my ad set and I would just use whatever naming structure makes the most sense to me. I would also choose what my conversion goals might be depending on what conversion events I have tracking. And I would also connect my Facebook page for, and also connect any additional accounts if I'm choosing to do these additional placements. You can also add a cost per result goal, which is a option for advertisers to help, again, guide Meta's algorithm to know how much it should be bidding when it's serving your ad. Now we've reached the budget portion of our ad set setup. This is where I can opt for a daily or lifetime budget. We do have information on which is better depending on your goals on the WordStream by Local IQ blog. I'm going to just stick with the default daily budget here. You can also add a start and end date to your campaign if you want to schedule it out. And you could also even schedule your budget or even schedule your ads. Um, ad scheduling is only available if you opt into a lifetime budget. Now, one of the most important parts of an ad set setup is the audience controls. Depending on how more or less restrictive I select with these options here, that will impact what shows for the audience definition and daily results, which can help me understand my expectations for how my ads are going to be served and how maybe fast or slow my budget will be spent. You can also opt into an Advantage Plus audience. We do have information on Advantage Plus audiences on the WordStream by Local IQ blog, but basically this will allow Meta to opt in additional users into your audience based on guidance that you provided. You can also select your placements that you want to be showing to here in this placements portal. And then once you're good with your ad set settings, you hit next. Now, finally, one of the most exciting parts is creating your ad. You also assign a name to your ad, and then you'll run through the prompts for the ad setup. You can upload images, choose what ad format you'd like, um, create your text and copy, and even set up tests. From here, I would click the green publish button and my campaign would be live. Once my campaign is live, I can navigate back to the Facebook ads manager here to view my performance as it's running. And if I wanted even more insight on my campaign performance, I could use a free tool like the WordStream by Local IQ free Facebook ads grader. Happy advertising.